Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. You're looking for something fun to do outdoors on one of these hot days? How about making an ice boat and having a little race? I'm going to show you how to make one right now. For this project, you will need aluminum foil, paper cup, straw, paper and markers, scissors. You can also make it with a small plastic cup, plastic lid, a ballpoint pen, water, and X-Acto knife. So we're going to start with the plastic cup and we'll do the paper cup at the same time. So first thing you're going to need is a little bit of cold water. And I'm actually going to use my plastic cup to fill my paper cup. You want to fill it about halfway. Now let me just tell you something that I discovered. I thought I was going to be really, really fun and really, really interesting and add food coloring to my uh, water because I thought that would make it really cool because it would, would dye the ice and it would be really cool. My, my thing would, but here's what happens. When we unveil these, you'll be able to see the food coloring goes to the center. It doesn't stay throughout the entire water mixture, it just go, it just like sucks into the center, which was an interesting thing to learn about ice. But anyway, don't waste your time putting food coloring into it. Just save your coloring for the flags. So the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a straw, and the straw is going to be my mast. And so for my mast on my plastic cup, what I'm going to do is take my X-Acto knife, and I'm just going to cut a little cut right in the middle, like a little cut straight in the middle. And then I'm going to turn it and make another cut going the opposite direction. Like, like you get when you get a drink cup, you know, you have like a little X up in there. I'm going to do that. So I've got my X and then I just take my straw, stick it on in. And you might use that pen, ballpoint pen, just to open it up. And then you stick that right in the center, make it stand straight up and down, and then put that in the freezer and freeze it until it's nice and hard and it's going to look like this when it's all done. The other way is if you don't have that, you're just going to need a little aluminum foil. And you don't need much, just a little piece to go over the top of your paper cup. And in this case, I'm just going to use my pen to pop a little hole right in the center. And then I'm going to place this over my paper cup and gently move it to the center so it's in the center there. And then I'm just going to take my straw and place it in that hole that I made. And again, put it in the freezer and let it chill. Usually overnight is good. Now in the meantime, I can make my flag. So I'm just going to cut a piece of paper here, just going to make a cute little strip. So I'm going to cut this in half and I can fold it in half like this and just make a triangle by cutting from the middle all the way to the outer edge and that gives me a nice big triangle. And I can draw my little skull and crossbones on here if I want to. So I'm just going to draw the beginning of a circle here. So it's almost a circle, but I don't take it all the way. It's really like the letter C. See, there's a the letter C. And then I just draw two lines down on either side and then connect those. And then I draw another line right directly underneath it with a little space underneath it and just a half moon or like a little bowl and give it some eyes. And then if you just draw a little heart shape, for the nose. There you go, you got your skull. And then for your crossbones, just make little lines on either side, just like you're making, like you would make like lines to go through it. And then just make a loopity doop up. So you almost make another letter C and another letter C, or like you're making a heart, but you're not going to do the bottom part. So just like you're making a heart, but you don't do the bottom part. A heart without the bottom part. And do that at all four sides. Close off your bones. And there you got 
your skull and crossbones. Fold that down about half an inch. And then just take your scissors and give it a little snip at the bottom about a half inch up and a little snip at the top about a half inch down. And that's going to be for our straw to stick through. So let's check out what we got coming out of the freezer. Now again, I said I made a mistake here and that I put coloring in. First thing you're going to do is pop this off the top. And this should pop right out if you just let it sit for about two minutes, three minutes. But if it doesn't, you can use warm water and just submerge it in the warm water for about 20 seconds and it'll pop right out like that. Let's try it with the paper cup. The thing I learned about the paper cups is that you can tear away the paper cup but it'll often leave a little pa paper on the bottom. So then you're going to need to wipe the bottom off. So I prefer the plastic cups, but if you can't, if all you've got, if all you have is a paper cup, then, you know, you just wipe that paper off the bottom. Okay, I'm going to put that in here for right now. So like 20 seconds in the hot water will release it. Then all you're going to do is cut off this extra and slip your little flag over top. So you open it up and stick one part through and the other part through. So you just slide it right on over there. Now this is where you can get into getting your little races on. So let me do this. Let me get a little tray and you pop out your racer and pop out your other racer. Mm -hmm. And on a hot day, they can start racing each other around the track. Now, there you can see what I talked about when I talked about the color. So it's kind of cool. It's right in the middle there, but that was an awful lot of food coloring that I put in there. And it really didn't color the whole water. It just all went to the center, which I find kind of interesting. Now, you can start making these go around like this. Or if you want to, you can take some cold water and you can float your boat. Boop. Boop. Now the fun thing about this is if you do add the color, it's going to start to colorize the water, which that's another experiment entirely on its own. So you can see making ice boats is actually really fun and a lot of ways to talk about science in many many different ways. Why does ice float? Why does the coloring go to the center? Why is my boat sinking? So I want to make sure that I give a big shout out to Toddler Approved for this very cute little ice boat. And you can find that link in my You Made It, I Love It down below. Just click on the link and it'll take you right to these little ice boats. I hope you have fun with them outdoors because it is getting hot and you want to cool down. Check us out for more fun ideas at sophie-world.com. And if you like this little post, give us a thumbs up. And if you try it and you've got some suggestions for us, leave it in the comments down below. For more fun ideas for outdoors and indoors, check us out at sophie-world.com. Woo!